Peace and blessings. We here again. Yo, what did I hear? I heard that Xbox has some new extended family. And Sony and Nintendo. And, uh, well, some dude said it's an unholy union. I'm just saying. Somebody looked like they wanted to be booed up. Yeah. Let's get into these topics. Peace. Xbox Frontline News back here again. Yo, um, this Fatsumi information is turning out to be something more incredible than anybody can ever imagine. Yo, y'all remember when Xbox was telling you stuff like, uh, well, Phil was telling you, Phil Dominus Maximus really Spencer was telling y'all that you know, PlayStation and Nintendo, they they not competition. They, he don't look at them as competition. And people was like, King, they the market leaders. What are you talking about? Of course they competition. And I'm like, nah, you talking about billion dollar companies versus a trillion dollar companies, you know, bottom line speaks. So the fact of the matter is the fact Sumi interview with Phil has been more revealing than y'all thought. Like, remember when Phil said he wanted to reach 8 billion users? And dudes is like, you can't even get past 50 million. What are you talking about 8 billion? Right? So then, you saw the PC strategy and he was like, uh-oh. But that that's, you know, PlayStation dudes, that's king. That still ain't, you know, 8 billion. Then you saw the TV deals with Samsung and LG. That's still that's that still ain't that still ain't uh, uh, a billion. Then you saw Game Pass moving and shaking. That's 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 still not that's you know that's still not a billion. You heard people yelling out, "Yo, Xbox needs VR." Then you saw Oculus come out with their VR, the Oculus 3, you know, shout out to Facebook. And um, what's in the box? What's launching? Game Pass. Huh. So how many million is over there will have access to Game Pass? And then how many million is over here has access to Game Pass? And then one of the things that was brought up in the interview was the fact that Microsoft didn't have to worry about a handheld because it had this. It had this bad boy. Oh, if y'all don't know what this is, this is the ROG. The ROG. So Microsoft didn't need a handheld because they got the ROG. Most powerful handheld going right now. I mean, you have a couple out there but the ROG is the most notable, the Oxus, Asus. So you, you, you're thinking you had the Nintendo dudes was like, nah, that's not our market though. That's not it. And then you saw the deals given out. Phil started giving out the deals. 10 year contract for Call of Duty. We know the Switch can't run it. Then the Switch, and this interview gets brought up, gets brought up. This guy here gets brought up. And he says, you know, he considers Nintendo and PlayStation part of the family. You ain't competition, you his son doula. You junior, you son son. Part of the family. Y'all eat at the little table over there for Thanksgiving. Yeah. So now that everything is coming out, 
Will there be a Game Pass on uh, PlayStation? Probably so. Will that uh, ingratiate them to their fan base? Probably so. Is it stuff that we're learning and knowing right now? You betcha. Right now, Microsoft is moving and they're positioning. Y'all was playing checkers while these dudes was playing chess. They was putting positions all over the place. I see right now, I see uh, Little Caesars with um, Call of Duty uh, uh, Brandon on the box. I see McDonald's and Burger King and everybody with Brandon on the box, Taco Bells. Everybody has got Call of Duty. PlayStation is selling a bundle right now with Call of Duty in the box. Those get counted. Those are sales that goes to Microsoft. Those are customers. Those are Xbox customers. The ROG, they consider that they handheld. He goes with it wherever he goes. So, I want you dudes to comment at the bottom. Is this the best strategy for Microsoft? Playing nice with the team that he doesn't consider them to be enemies, because they're not enemies. Nah. These guys are actually family. So, from me to you, I want to welcome all the PlayStation dudes, all the Nintendo dudes, to the Xbox family. Y'all are extended cousins, son dollars, juniors. I told you, this generation is going to be different. There's different leadership. We're not fumbling the bag on this one. So, sit down, get comfortable, because you're part of Xbox now. Yo, please, everybody, go out and buy Call of Duty. Let's have some fun doing this. This is fantastic. I want to know what y'all think about this. Please, leave some comments. Yo, how many of y'all, and this next topic is going to be crazy. How many of y'all have had, you know, um, relationships where um, the person got away? Probably got jilted at the yeah. altar. The girlfriend that didn't make it, you know. But for a long time, you was just trying, trying. Hopefully she sees you. That reminds me of Sony. You know, because... Nintendo and Sony was, was supposed to do uh, the Nintendo PlayStation. It was supposed to happen. And they were supposed to do the disc drive for the PlayStation, I mean for the Nintendo, and uh, Nintendo went with Philips CDI. They didn't like the terms or the arrangement that Sony was uh, bringing to the table. So like they just left them out there like that. And Sony didn't find out till that day, and it was better the whole time, like, you know, doing all things, turning up on them. Woo! turning up on them every time you know trying to get Nintendo out the game trying to show them that you you made a mistake I'm the one and you know for a long period of time you know Sony they 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 were rocking but they never seen that you know overtake Nintendo I mean PlayStation in its heyday was definitely something to be reckoned with but they never really overtook them and you know Nintendo's branching off into movies Sony does movies so shout out to my model, the creator of Mario, Zelda, and a lot of our beloved Nintendo franchises. Shout out to him for putting out a tweet talking about there in, uh, I think it was Aria Rob, that uh, he wants to have him direct um, his uh, Zelda movie. And lo and behold, who's supposed to? Do distribution for the theatrical release. Sony. Sony stepped up. Was like, I'll do, I'll do it, I'll do it. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. And I heard about it, and I'm like, wow, Sony's, Sony's gonna do this. Um, 
And I'm not kind of weirded out like a lot of these dudes. Or I saw dudes like, oh, I don't want that out of. I, I don't. I don't really don't care. Movie distribution, the theatrical releases, that, that stuff is very good. Sony is very good at it. Why, if you, if if why not? If you have a pipeline to uh, distribute movies, why not go with one of the leading uh, people in the field? And I, I think Gran Turismo did pretty well inside the movie theaters. Um, Sony, Sony has been doing uh, pretty decent. So why not? I'm not, I'm not as bugged out on it as a lot of people are, but I've seen people talking about, look at this, look at that. You know, I make jokes that Sony is trying by any means necessary to make sure that they get ingratiated with Nintendo. And yep, 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 they're trying something. Does this lead to anything? I don't think it leads to anything other than this movie, but a live action Zelda movie, a live action Zelda, is it gonna be based on Breath of the Wild stuff? Because we just saw the Mario movie, and I'ma tell you, man, if, if you didn't see the Mario movie, please go see the Mario movie. It is probably one of the best movies about video games ever. All the little hallmarks, all the little tropes, everything about Mario was there and um, Luigi and Bowser and Princess Peach and Donkey Kong. Yo, I watched that movie like four times already. So I'm, I'm praying for Nintendo to bring that same level of quality to the, whole, to, to the, to the big screen again. Because I seen, I know they got the, this level of success. I know they did. And then to have the person that did Maze Runner uh, uh, to, to direct it, oh my God. And I believe uh, he did like, what was it? The, the Planet of the Apes trilogy, uh, the new one. Yo. Super lit, live action. So they're taking it away from the animation and they're going for it. Man, we are truly living in the times in which we dreamt of as kids. That little Zelda, who would have thought that little golden cartridge would bring us to where we at? But this is Xbox Frontline News with the King. Until next time, <laughs> try to play with the game pass. Yep. Peace.